Hi, I'm Ron Ogden. Today, how to find proof of Bigfoot on Pop Tropica. Come with me as we search for this hairy man gorilla. I didn't know my dad was in Pop Tropica. Let's go find my dad. First step, move to the right. Talk to the man in the soccer ball. He'll give you a poster. Move right until you see the tree in front of the large mansion. Move to the end of the gated community and jump from the first branch of the tree. You'll find a $5 bill. Go back to Main Street where you found the man with the soccer ball. Go to the general store. Use the $5 bill and buy a sports drink. There's only two types of people who like sports drinks, soccer players and gardeners. So of course we go to the gardener. He'll give you his shears. If you want, test out your shears on the shrubbery. It won't matter, but it's a lot of fun. Plus, you'll make that lady upset. You're such a rebel. Now go back to Main Street and go to the left. You'll enter the park. At the park, make sure to push the lady off the cliff. You're such a rebel. Don't actually push people off cliffs. Before you leave, jump to the top of the house and use your shears on the man in the hot air balloon. Wow, you got a nylon rope. Take the nylon rope to the kite shop on Main Street. Use the nylon rope. The shopkeeper is so impressed with the strength of your rope, she'll give you the Kite Surf K250. Wow, you really are a rebel. Let's go surf this bad boy. Exit the shop and go to the park. Once you're in the park, doesn't matter where you are, use the Kite Surf K250. You'll enter a mini game where you don't really do anything other than surf. Eventually, a woman will come by in a speedboat and burn down your kite. She's a rebel. But before you have a chance to drown, a helicopter comes and saves the day. Eventually, you wake up in a mansion, Muse Mansion. And Muse has been kind enough to take care of you. He'll talk to you a bit, and when he's done, make sure to drink the water on the table. Leave your room and move to the right. Enter the first door you find. This is where the lab and museum is. Go to the museum. Before you can move on, you have to watch each one of these videos. Now, we didn't watch them all and we'll close them, but I suggest that you do. They are a bit funny. Watch all five videos and Muse will report back. Now it's off to the Jersey Devil. Go up the stairs outside the room and go outside. Make your way to the right of the mansion to get to the helicopter. Once we're in the helicopter, and before we can go to New Jersey to get the Jersey Devil itself, there's a couple of things we need from the other locations. First, we'll get the matches at Loch Ness. Go to the pub. Once inside the pub, move to the left until you find the matches. Once you have the matches, back to the helicopter. Once at the helicopter, now it's time to go to the Himalayas. Once in the Himalayas, jump to the top until you cross the bridge. Then fall down to the left and speak with the Sherpa guide. You'll need him in order to get to the monastery. In order to climb the mountain, you need his help. In this area, be careful. The wind blows very hard. When that happens, it'll blow you off the cliff. You can tell which way and how fast the wind is blowing by the snow in the background. Jump, climb, and move your way to each ring. Once you're at a ring, it'll tie yourself off. Then your Sherpa guide will follow you, tie himself to the ring, and allow you to go find the next one. Keep doing this until you reach the top of the mountain. It's pretty straightforward. Once you've gotten the Sherpa to the top, you won't have to do this again, even though you'll have to come back. Once at the top, move to the right to the monastery. Go inside. Once inside the monastery, move to the right. Speak with the monk. You'll have to talk to him about each topic, otherwise he won't give you the lantern. Once you have the lantern, Simply climb back down to the helicopter. The final object you'll need is the bolt cutters from Puerto Rico. Once in the helicopter, it's time to go to Puerto Rico. Once you land there, speak with the natives. Move to the right until you find the jeep. Speak with the man in the mustache. It's his jeep. Tell him you're not afraid. He loves your courage and will let you borrow his jeep. Once inside the Jeep, drive it to the top left star. Enter the area 
and move to the right. Use the tree to jump as high as you can until you reach a toolbox. Grab the bolt cutters and it's time to leave. Make your way back to the Jeep and back to the helicopter. Once we have the matches, the lantern, and the bolt cutters, we've got everything we need to find that pesky devil. Once you're in New Jersey, move to the right past this stink air gas station. Use the bolt cutters and the lock on the dumpster. At the very bottom of the dumpster, you'll find a bathroom stall door. Move inside the bathroom and talk to the hobo. Gross, he's got no teeth. But somebody's left a message on the door. Use the stall door. Now there's a message. These sounds like directions. Now before you leave the bathroom, light your lantern with the matches in your inventory. Now go outside and use the motorcycle. To get to the final destination as quickly as possible, alternate your directions starting with right. So right, left, right, left, right, left, until you come to a cul-de-sac with a lake next to it. Once you're there, stop the motorcycle and look around. Glad we've got that lantern. Enter the gate and move to the house. Once inside the house, let's have a look around. Climb the stairs until we hear something. There's something in the attic. Let's use this dresser to get to the attic. Move it to the left and jump into the attic. Once inside, once inside, you'll hear the thump again. Move to the right until you find the shaking barrel. It's just a raccoon. Well, better grab this grappling hook. Once you have the grappling hook, move back down into the house. And we'll go downstairs. What is that? Gross! Quickly outside. There's nothing around. Hmm. There it is. It's in the tree. Use the grappling hook under the tree and go into its nest. Now we've got DNA evidence. That's all we needed. Back to the mansion. Once you're in the mansion, go into the lab. Once in the lab, use the eggshell. Now we've got to extract some DNA. First, put the sample into the beaker. Pour enzyme number two into the beaker. Then pour lab gel into the lab tray. Then pour your beaker into the lab tray. After that, place the nylon membrane in the lab tray. Pour the probes into the lab tray. And finally, place the x-ray film in the lab tray. Finally, place the x-ray film into the developer and press the green button. Congratulations, we found proof of the Jersey Devil. Now that we found the Jersey Devil, it's off to find the Loch Ness Monster. Go to the helicopter and fly to Loch Ness. Once you're there, move to the right until you come to the pub. Before you can actually find Loch Ness, you have to play a couple of game of darts. When you pick up a dart, notice it wobbles in your hand. You have limited control over the wobble, so you have to be careful. Wait until your dart is close to center as possible. Left click the mouse to set the destination of your dart. Pull back gently. Now be careful when you pull backwards. The dart can move to the left or right. You want to line up the bottom of the tail of the dart to the shelf directly below the X in which you're aiming. Once you do so, that is enough power to get the dart to the X as close as possible. You may have to practice this a couple of times as the darts are a bit finicky. Now you'll play darts again two or three more times, but the process is the same. The only difference is your darts change color and the wiggle at the beginning varies slightly. Once you win the game of darts, the man will give you a ticket to the rowboat. Now exit the pub and move to the left. Before we get to the rowboat, talk to the man in the jeep. Ask him how you can help. The man is stuck in the mud and he wants to leave. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with the tire. What he wants us to do is let air out of the tire so that the tread is more grippy. Press on the pressure valve to let some of the air out. When you're done, he'll thank you and give you a camera. Exactly what you need to prove Loch Ness exists. Now get on the rowboat and give the man your ticket. Soon Loch Ness will come out of the lake Quickly, get your camera! Now it's time to take proof back to Muse at the mansion. Go back to the lab. You'll have to get in the helicopter and fly back in order to do this. Unfortunately, it's not actually Loch Ness. So we've got to go back. Back to the helicopter. Back to Loch Ness. Talk to that dirty rowboat guy. 
He's a rebel. He shows, he's so ashamed he'll leave. Now go back to the bar. Once you're in the bar, talk to the two old men near the dartboard. They'll tell you a story of the Loch Ness and where you can find it. Play another game of darts. When you're playing the game of darts, it should be easier than before. Your darts are upgraded. The rules still apply. Play just like before, and you're sure to win. This man gives you a submarine ticket. Well, let's go see if we can find Loch Ness. Leave the bar. Go out to the submarine and talk to the man. Give him your ticket. Once you're in the submarine, move down and to the left until you come upon what looks to be Loch Ness stuck in the mud. Use your camera. Take a picture. Back to the bar, to the guy who gave you the submarine ticket. Show him your proof. Unfortunately, this is not proof either, and he'll tell you to look at the article on the board. It's a movie prop. <sighs> Rebels. As a reward, you'll get a dart upgrade. Move towards the door. Before you leave, talk to the man you beat before. He wants a rematch. He'll even guarantee you proof of Loch Ness. Play him one more time and beat him. Same rules apply. It should be much easier this time as the darts are much better. As you can see here, I'm a rebel. I hit three bullseyes. The man believes you cheated and doesn't hold up his end of the bargain. But the bartender feels bad for you. He gives you a penny whistle. Apparently that will summon Loch Ness. Back out to the rowboat. Roll yourself out into the lake. Move to the left and take out your whistle. Play the whistle. Um, that's, that's Loch Ness. Uh, 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 take a picture. Now that we've gotten definitive proof of Loch Ness, back to the helicopter to the mansion. Now that we're done with Loch Ness, let's go back to the Himalayas. Go to the helicopter and fly to the Himalayas. Since we've been here before, it's, it'll be easy to get to the monastery. Go to the monastery. And jump up the cliffs. Once you get to the top of the monastery, speak with the man that's standing up there. What a rebel. Play his little game. His game's pretty easy. If you follow the moves that are displayed here, you should win. Once you won, he'll let you pass by and you can jump up and to the left to find Bigfoot's footprint. Take a picture. Back to the lab. Let's show Mr. Muse. Unfortunately, that's not definitive proof. Well, we didn't find Bigfoot. Now let's go find Chupacabra. To the helicopter and fly to Puerto Rico. Enter the Jeep again and drive to the top right star. Enter the area and talk to the man. Once he's done talking, move to the left until you find some hair on a broken fence. Move to the left until you find some hair on a broken fence. Maybe this is the proof we need. Back to the lab! Now you have to prove the DNA just like you did for the Jersey Devil. Use the lab equipment much like we did before. Follow my lead and everything will be all right. Unfortunately, that's just an old coyote. Fact of the day, coyotes are known as the rebels of the canine family. Looks like we have to find real proof of Chupacabra. So back to Puerto Rico. Once you're back in Puerto Rico, get back into the Jeep and drive to the top middle star. Rumor has it that Chupacabra likes spotted goats. Once you've herded five spotted goats to the middle star, you'll be able to move forward. Hey, it's that man who's helped us before. He said his brother knew we were coming here and he's come to help us. Now that we're here, we need to hide. Move to the right until you get behind some boulders. When you hear the thump, jump out. Let's see if we can find him. Be brave. He'll growl at you, but he won't hurt. Um, I think we found the new rebel of the canine family, Chupacabra. It looks like he left behind a tooth. Pick it up and take it back to the mansion. Congratulations, you found proof of Chupacabra. Once we found evidence of all the creatures, Muse has some great news. Bigfoot's been spotted. Let's go find him. Go to the helicopter. You'll notice there's a new spot to go to. The Pacific Northwest. Seattle is my favorite city.
Once you're in the Pacific Northwest, a small mini game starts. It's pretty simple. Just keep up with Bigfoot. He can be a little tricky, so take your time and be patient. You'll get it. Eventually, you'll chase Bigfoot into a cave. Now comes the final boss battle. Muse comes over the radio. It's that lady who burned our kite. She stole Bigfoot. Get after her. Run your helicopter into hers. Once you've done so, now it's time to jump to her helicopter and sabotage her. Let all the oil out of her helicopter and jump down to the crate. Use your trusty scissors and you've saved Bigfoot. Fact of the day, you are the rebel of the Pop Tropica family. Congratulations. That was a giant man gorilla. Good job. That's how to get proof of Bigfoot on Pop Tropica. I'm Ron Ogden. I'll see you next time.